my friends, family, and loved ones. Abundance. And I want to talk specifically about how to live with abundance. Even though it feels like everything around us exists in scarcity and lack. Because we are all truly abundant creatures. Everything that is happening, regardless of whether our human form perceives it to be positive or negative, is happening in our favor. I think that right there is the hardest thing for people to really wrap their mind around. That even the quote-unquote negative stuff that happens is happening for our benefit. We've all heard the saying that you either win or you learn. But there's truth to it. There is no such thing as a negative situation, as a negative circumstance. Any more than the stress and pain that your body goes through when you're working out is a negative situation or circumstance. It might not feel great, but it is a great thing to happen. Abundance stems from knowing that everything is taken care of for you. And why is it? Because you are an aspect of the one that is the all, of the creator. And as a reflection, as an aspect of that creator, you have all of the creative powers as well. We look up things on YouTube and Google about the law of attraction and about how to manifest uh, the reality that we want as though it's a tool or a task that we need to complete. But in actuality, we're manifesting and creating our reality with every step that we take, every action that we make because we have conscious control over all of those aspects. I mean, yes, a simplistic form is to, you know, if you want to, I don't know, get somewhere, you take steps towards that direction, physical steps, you walk there and you'll manifest it. And of course, that's a very simplistic, basic way of looking at it, and it's very true. But it all comes from belief. It all stems from belief. If you don't believe that you can do it, you can't. Goodness. And if you do believe that you're able to accomplish what you're out to accomplish, then it will happen. And you will go through all of the steps you need to get through in order to accomplish it. Belief is the most prominent and the single factor in regards to manifestation. There's something out there that many of you all have heard of, I'm sure, called the placebo effect. And of course, in clinical trials, they'll give someone a sugar pill and give someone the drug, and the sugar pill is called, called the placebo, and it works as a control because you're not supposed to get a reaction from that sugar pill. What's interesting is that some people have a reaction. Some people have the exact reaction they're supposed to have. This is called the placebo effect. We see the placebo effect actually most commonly in war settings. When medical supplies are sometimes low, soldiers are given sugar pills by the medics, placebos, and they work very well, far more often than in clinical trials. And it's not like sugar pills have some miraculous quality that we haven't discovered yet, it's because in a situation as intense as wartime, if you're on what feels like the brink of death, and someone tells you that this one pill can stop you from dying, can relieve the pain long enough to let the medic or the surgeon do what they need to do, and you'll live and see your family because of that one pill, you believe it. You believe it with every fiber of your being. And that's why they have such a higher rate in the military of this placebo effect occurring. Because belief is instilled 
albeit in a very intensive way. I would never say wartime is the best way to instigate a belief in something. But it is showing that this placebo effect is way more prominent in wartime in an intense situation and something that couldn't be recreated in a clinical setting. Belief is the strongest factor. That's how Jesus was able to make all that fish and bread appear in the story in the Bible. He just believed that it was there. That's how he healed people. Of course, he didn't actually heal anyone. They healed themselves. Jesus was a facilitator for the physical healing. But the physical healing would have never occurred. A. If they didn't believe. And B. If the individual being healed hadn't learned what they needed to learn from the thing that was ailing them. The blind man would have never been cured if he hadn't learned from his blindness. And also, if Jesus didn't believe and cause the blind man to believe that he was no longer blind. Because of your belief of blood pumping through your body, when you cut yourself, you'll have blood coming out. Belief is that single factor that causes manifestation. If you want to attract something into your life, if you want manifestation to work for you, then you need to believe that you can do that thing. Believe that thing will happen to you. Affirm it to yourself. Constantly repeat it to yourself. Journal about it. Give gratitude for everything that is occurring because you never know when something could be leading you in the direction that you want to go. That's why you give gratitude for all of it. Gratitude keeps your vibrational frequency high. And a high vibrational frequency gives belief so much more power. Believe it and you shall achieve it. We already have everything we need. Of course, go through the process of believing that thing that you want to achieve through your goals, your purposes in life. But along the way, when you understand that gratitude leads to belief, gratitude for everything that is, leads to belief, and abundance is gratitude for everything that is, realizing that you are abundant leads to belief, which leads to manifestation. They're not different things. They're steps leading you to the same goal. Realize everything that is working is working in your favor and you will become abundant. When you become abundant, you will become grateful. And when you become grateful, you will believe. And when you believe, you will manifest your wildest dreams. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to get that off my chest. It only takes a second to hit that like button, and I greatly appreciate it because it throws me out into the algorithm quite a bit more. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell because I come out with more as often as I can, daily if I can help it. Links to follow me on social media are all in the description below. This has been The Chosen Flame. Until I get a chance to talk to y'all again, I love you.